Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Smooth Scrolling, I'm going to show you how this often misunderstood feature is actually intended to be used. So I have a document here open, and I'm going to go to my user settings and to the display tab. And here we see that Smooth Scrolling is one of the options I can check. Now I'm going to scroll through my document first with my mouse. So that's how it looks without smooth scrolling with my mouse. And then if I scroll using my keyboard, it scrolls in a similar way. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on smooth scrolling. And now when I scroll with my mouse, the scrolling is much slower. It's much more controlled and it keeps the text visible on screen. And so that's why it refers to smooth because it allows anyone else who is viewing your screen to follow along with the text. And so that means that if it's scrolling down as the new text is appearing, that text is appearing in a more controlled fashion. And so this feature is really for real time. And so this feature is really intended mostly for real time use or other times when you are sharing your screen and scrolling through it and the people that you're sharing with might want to actually be able to read some of the text on the screen. So now I'm going to start a real-time file, and we'll test out how the real-time looks both with and without smooth scrolling. So I'm going to let it translate down to the bottom of the page, and now you see that as each new line appears, the system very smoothly slides up. And that means that anyone who is following along with your real time on your Eclipse screen will have the benefit of that smooth transition when smooth scrolling is enabled. So now I'm going to go to my display tab and we'll turn off smooth scrolling. And now you see that every time a new line appears, it's popped on a lot more quickly and with less attention to smoothness and readability. Now this is the way that most people use their Eclipse, and this is the way that most people prefer to use their Eclipse without smooth scrolling turned on. And like I said, smooth scrolling is often misunderstood. It exists specifically so that you can share your Eclipse screen and make it more readable for those people sharing it with you. It's not really meant as an enhancer to your work as you're editing or doing real time. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn smooth scrolling back on again and you see that now each line slowly slides up and the screen maintains a lot more stability, allowing readers to anticipate where their eyes are going to be as they're following along with this text. And this text is from virtual real time, which is quite fast compared to standard real time. And so even when you're using it this way, it allows that text to be much more readable and allows your users to follow along if necessary. And so this is what smooth scrolling is for, so that anyone else who's looking at your real time can follow along a little bit easier without this herky-jerky kind of pop-on presentation that most people are used to and do prefer. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.